Okay, we just finished up this movie, Something the Lord Made, which ties to two things, the Cardiovascular System Unit and Black History Month. And I'm going to go over some of the content from the movie because I know those of you who are not in person had some glitchy issues watching it online. So um, I'm going to go through and make sure that uh, you are able to answer all the questions when we go over it. So first in class, we're going to talk about your opinions about the movie. What were your thoughts? What were your feelings? I have some. I've seen the movie a whole bunch of times and I still notice new things all the time, but I definitely have opinions about it. Uh, but the first thing we're going to talk about is where the story actually took place. There are a few places that are important uh, to remember. So first, Nashville, Tennessee, that's where it started um, at Vanderbilt University. Um, and that is in Nashville, Tennessee. And then um, they went to Johns Hopkins Medical School. And if you don't know where that is, that's in Baltimore, Maryland. Now, when did this story take place? And there are a lot of little historical clips throughout the movie that give you clues to the time frame. But if you don't know when those historical clips were happening, it probably didn't give you that many clues. All right. So first, in 1930 is when Vivian graduated from high school. 1930 to 1940 is when he spent his time working at Vanderbilt University. From 1940 to 1963, he worked at Johns Hopkins University. In 1976, that's when Vivian Thomas was given the honorary doctorate, a long time after his work. And in 1979, Dr. Thomas retires. So yes, he finally is able to be called doctor um, after 1976. So why did he, meaning Vivian Thomas, not go to college? That was his plan all along. He had worked for as a carpenter for seven years and saved his money. They had a whole plan for their lives set ahead. Well, he graduated from high school in 1930. And if you know anything about that time period, what happens should make sense. The summer after he graduated, the banks failed and he lost all of his money. He had already been working for Dr. Blaylock at that point, but um, he had plans once the summer was finished to go to college. Um, he was lucky to find that job with Dr. Blaylock. Um, and remember, his friend is the one who kind of helped him get that job. The job happened to be a janitor working for Dr. Blaylock, which worked uh, to Vivian's advantage because it really took advantage of his um, skills and intellect. Um, and why was he lucky to find a job? Because jobs were really scarce due to the Great Depression. Okay. Um, Next, how do you feel about the research Vivian and Dr. Blaylock were conducting at Vanderbilt? And something to consider just in terms of ethics, uh, it probably would not be happening today. They used dogs and they intentionally created um, the defects in the dogs to see if the treatment would work. Um, and in one point in the movie, they talk about uh, running out of dogs. So again, uh, there's a lot of ethics to consider in terms of using animals for research. And you may or may not personally agree with it. So describe the situation when Dr. Blaylock emotionally blew up and said, do you have sawdust or just plain shit for brains? So that for me, that's like a very telling point in the movie. So what happened? Well, Vivian didn't turn on the recorder, and if you didn't know what he was yelling about, he kept yelling the smoke drum, and the smoke drum was used to record the procedure so then they could go back and evaluate it later, and Vivian did not turn it on, not because he ignored Dr. Blaylock's request, but because he just didn't know to do that, and Dr. Blaylock assumed he would know. But remember, Vivian's experience was not as a lab technician. Vivian's experience was as a carpenter before he started working as the janitor and then became the lab assistant. But what did Block Dr. Blaylock discover after he blew up at Vivian? Vivian hung up the coat, walked out, and Dr. Blaylock then picked up the notebook and saw Vivian's meticulous labeled drawings outlining what had happened in the procedure and I think at that point, Dr. Blaylock realized the value of Vivian, and then he sort of went out 
um, after him chasing to have him come back. Uh, what is Mrs. Blaylock's point when she says to her husband, I guess there is only so much good one can do? Um, I think she is hinting at um, Dr. Blaylock, well, she mentions it also, doesn't help Vivian go to college, um, and hinting at did he do enough to help Vivian help himself instead of Vivian helping Dr. Blaylock? What does Dr. Blaylock say about Vivian's work on the sutures? So remember he had his hands in and was feeling, and he said, are you sure you did this, Vivian? This is like something the Lord made, hence the title of the movie, okay? What job does Vivian take after leaving the medical school and working for Dr. Blaylock? He's selling pharmaceuticals, but if you realize this from the movie, this is not a fulfilling job for him. Um, it's a job, um, and he does it because obviously most of us uh, do need to work. Um, however, it does not have the same satisfaction um, as he had working in the lab. Okay, And he does return to Johns Hopkins for that reason. Uh, he needs to get that fulfillment back. And what does nole tangere mean? It's Latin. And it means do not touch. How do they know the blue baby surgery is a success? There's all kinds of tense moments. The blood pressure drops. Um, there's some bleeding. Okay, They can't feel whether or not the shunt worked. They can't feel the blood moving through the vessels because her vessels. What they do notice is her skin color changes from blue to pink. And what caused such an uproar with the other doctors at Johns Hopkins when Dr. Blaylock announced that he would operate on the infant girl? Well, the medical field at the time was not doing heart surgery. They believed it couldn't or shouldn't be done. The heart was not to be touched, okay? What is the main problem with traumatic shock that Dr. Blaylock is trying to counter or fix? And this is back when they were working at Vanderbilt, when they were experimenting with all of those um, dogs initially. So what were they trying to fix? Well, bleeding out. That was the most uh, common issue. And this was relevant because uh, we're at the time of World War II. Um, it was treated... Uh, according to the research from Dr. Blaylock and Vivian, by giving transfusions, which had kind of gone against prior advice. Why does Vivian decide not to go to Morgan State University? So he leaves the lab at Johns Hopkins before he starts selling pharmaceuticals, and he wants to go to college. He wants to go to medical school. But why does he decide not to go? Because he doesn't get credit for his experience. He'll have to start at the beginning, which he says, I am too old for. I have two young children to support. I don't have time to do this. Um, but unfortunately, they do not give him any credit for his experience, and he would have to start as a freshman just like anyone else. What does Vivian do to get money taken off the rent? Okay, because remember, his job... Uh, did not pay him that much money. So what does he do? Well, he does carpentry and other odd jobs to take some money off the rent. How many doctors from Dr. Blaylock's class are willing to assist in the surgery? Only three. And they're in the photograph um, when Life Magazine does take the photograph. So there's two on one side, um, Dr. Tausig, and then the other doctor who assisted. So who is left out of those pictures for Life magazine? Well, Vivian Thomas. Okay, the other three doctors who assisted, plus Dr. Tausig and Dr. Blaylock, are in the pictures. They even took pictures of Dr. Blaylock by himself. But Vivian is not included at all. What initial problem did they run into uh, with the procedure to correct the blue baby problem? What happened is they didn't allow for the dog or baby because they were first practicing with a dog. They didn't allow the shunt to grow as the dog aged. So the stitches didn't hold. So unfortunately, the dog ended up dying. Okay? Um, they had to come up with a way that the shunt could grow as the dog or then the baby when they did the procedure 
um, that the shunt would be able to grow with the heart. What is another name for blue baby syndrome? It's tetralogy of Fallot. It's four major defects in the heart. Okay, so four major defects with tetralogy of Fallot. How did the class three worker comment affect Vivian? Remember, he was very upset, um, realizing that he was undervalued and definitely underpaid, um, that he was just classified as a, um, you know, a janitor, basically a maintenance worker, not as a lab assistant uh, or anything that uh, even resembled what he was doing. When Dr. Helen Tausig and Vivian walked toward the entrance of the medical school, she stated, at least they let me in through the front door. What does she mean? Well, Vivian has to walk in through the back door because uh, he is black. And even though she is treated in less because she is a woman, she is allowed to walk in through the front door. It is said that Vivian Thomas opened new paths to healing when most doors were closed to him. What do you think is meant by that? Okay, he made a lot of changes, even though um, he lived at a time where most doors, things were separated, white versus colored, a lot of racism. Why would the hospital not page Vivian to the OR? Do you remember? Uh, because he wasn't a doctor. Was the first blue baby operation um, an experiment? as the priest charged? Absolutely, it had never been done before. There was no other way to describe it as an experiment, other than it is ex as an experiment. Why did Dr. Blaylock not take the job in Detroit? Do you remember why they went to Johns Hopkins instead? Well, because in Detroit, Vivian wasn't allowed to go with him. And why did Vivian Thomas cause such a controversy when he went out of the lab in his white lab coat? Okay, because unfortunately, um, it was due to the color of his skin. He was not viewed as someone who was a doctor or worthy of wearing a white coat. Um, how is the Blaylock Thomas team an example of good teamwork? Well, they um, do collaborate a lot on the research and sit and talk with each other and work through problems and difficulties. Uh, what did Vivian mean when he said, I'm not talking about Hopkins, I'm talking about you and I'm invisible to the wor world. I don't mind that. I thought it was different in here, okay? Um, he thought that he would be treated differently by Dr. Blaylock, who completely ignored his contributions in the speech. And what role did racism play in the fact that Dr. Blaylock was uh, able to keep Vivian Thomas as a lab assistant for so many decades and benefit from his work without giving him credit? Okay, because at the time, uh, Black Americans were not recognized for their value in science and research. So Dr. Blaylock was able to keep him as a lab assistant um, because he needed the money and unfortunately did not get the credit. And there you have it. There's a quick overview of the content from Something the Lord Made. Hopefully you love the movie as much as I do and learned a little bit in the process.